Hey, this is Eva and welcome back to my channel. Now, today I'm gonna do another furniture makeover, but this time it'll be just a little bit different. And in this video, you're gonna see that I turn an armoire into a bar, which I call like a barmoire. Um, backstory, so I was on Pinterest, which I'm always on Pinterest. Um, that's where I get a lot of my inspirations from. But this particular day, I saw a bar that was um, transformed from an armoire and I really loved the idea it was one of those things that I knew that I wanted to do one day but I didn't want to prioritize it at the moment because I knew that it was gonna be a bigger project ironically that same exact week my husband came across a client who had an armoire he asked me if I wanted it and I of course I told him yeah I wanted it and so I started this project now instead of in the future like I planned to um, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this is because I thrift shop a lot, um, Habitat, Salvation Army, Goodwill, whatever. I like to go to a lot of different thrift stores. And if you go to thrift stores or Cole Simon stores, you'll notice that there are a lot of armoires in the world. Um, a lot of them don't have homes. It's a big piece of furniture. And if you don't have a specific use for it, it can take up a lot of room and just be a waste of space. So I decided to see if I could actually transform an armoire into something just more useful and then something that is just pretty to look at honestly so that's what you're gonna see here the start to finish transformation of this armoire into a bar keep watching so this is the piece that I was given and honestly I could have left it the color that it was but I know a lot of people don't have traditional colors in their homes so I just decided to turn it another color And his client uses armoire as an entertainment center, so that's why there's a hole in the back. And honestly, most armoires these days have the hole out because they are used as entertainment centers. And here you'll see me removing all the doors, drawers, and boards. I say that three times fast. And this is to get the project started. If you're forgetful like me, a tip is to put all of your nails and screws into Ziploc bags and label them. I use the dry erase marker and that way you don't lose them. For this project, I use the TSP cleaner to get my surfaces prepped for painting. To be completely honest, I didn't really see a big difference, but I'm trying to be more thorough as I'm doing these flips. If you paid attention to the armoire in the beginning, there were two levels to this stand inside and I only wanted one, so here you just see my husband cutting that down for me. And here we just sand, sand, and sand some more. And don't forget to wipe everything down. And this is the top of the armoire. Yes, it was super dusty, but we got up there and cleaned it too. Here you see me measuring out where my lights and my wine glass racks are gonna go. I wanted to make sure that there was enough space between both so that they weren't sitting on top of each other. Lights. 
lights, middle wine glass rack, lights. And this hole is for where the lights will hang. This hole is in the back for the cord. This project, I decided to try a satin black flat paint by Bear. Talk about tongue tie, oh my God. And in order to use this paint in a sprayer, you have to thin it out. So I put 24 ounces of paint in this container and then I added water to it. Side note, I used at least half a gallon for this entire armoire. It took a lot of paint, so that's just a heads up if you're wondering how much you might need. When it comes to dresser drawers, I like to use a paintbrush to put on the paint first and then I'll use a sprayer just to cover it up so it doesn't have any brush strokes. But I did that with the drawers and the inside of the shelf just to kind of save some paint before I sprayed. And what you see here is the result of a beginner paint sprayer. So the three projects that you see on my page are my, actually my first times using a paint sprayer. And because of that, I'm getting used to drips and drops. So I tried to fix it with my paintbrush and it resulted in this gritty texture and I had to fix that. And this is what it looks like after I fixed it. You can't even tell that I messed it up. And just to be clear, this was the top coat. This wasn't the actual paint layer. So I had to be really careful not to take off the paint. And I'll actually upload a video later showing how to fix it because I couldn't find anything anywhere. In the middle of this project, I decided to turn the doors into chalkboards. So that's what you see me doing here. And I love the way it turned out. I would say be careful with the overspray. I had to paint anyway, so it didn't matter. But I honestly would recommend the chalkboard paint and not the spray. The lights were installed by my husband, Shameless Plug. But here you see the wine rack going up as everything starts to be put back together. For the back, I use this rustic style particle board that Home Depot sells and it saved me a lot of work. And after everything was put back together, this is the final outcome. And are you ready for me to say it? Yeah, you are. I love it. As usual, I think I outdid myself. I kind of knew that it would look something like this, but it's just one of those things like once everything came together, it was like, oh my God, I did this. I'll be sure to leave the paint details and all of the hardware in the description box below. And this thing is just really functional. The doors are chalkboard, so you can write on them, erase it, whatever. There's plenty of storage. There's four huge drawers, so you can store as much liquor and wine as your heart desires. You can still store wine under the um, stand. You have the wine glass holder. You have the lights with the light switch, so you can turn them on or off. Then you have plenty of space on top of the stand for your liquor. And the doors actually slide in, so if you want to push them in, you can do that and have some room, or you can leave them out, it's up to you. And to finish things off, I decided to have a nice cool drink in my Harry Potter design glass. And yes, I am a keeper. And if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.